welcome to pre-math in this video we have got this uh, green uh, square a b c d and uh, this uh, circle with the center o put together in such a way that uh, these points uh, a b and e lie on the circle as you can see in this uh, diagram and moreover the area of this uh, circle has been given to us as pi square units and furthermore, uh, this uh, side uh, CD is tangent to this uh, circle at this point uh, E. And now our task is uh, to find the area of this uh, green square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concept. And here's our very first uh, concept. Let's recall the circle uh, theorem. The angle between the radius uh, and the tangent uh, will always be exactly 90 degrees, as you can see in this uh, diagram. And in this case, we have this uh, tangent line, and this is our radius. Uh, no wonder this angle between them is uh, 90 degrees. And now let's recall the intersecting uh, chords uh, theorem. If two chords intersect in a circle, then the product of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal. As you can see in this uh, diagram where these uh, chords AC and BD intersect uh, each other at this uh, point such that uh, A times uh, B is going to be equal to C times uh, D as you can see in this uh, equation. And here's our one more uh, concept. Let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem. According to this theorem, if a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects that chord into two equal parts. And now let's revert uh, our attention back to our given uh, problem. And now we know that the area of this uh, circle has been given to us uh, as pi. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where r is the radius uh, of this uh, circle. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, given formula. Area of this circle is uh, pi equal to pi times uh, r square. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by pi. This pi and pi is gone. So therefore, uh, our r square going to be equal to 1. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore we can see that our radius r turns out to be positive 1. So thus the radius of this uh, circle turns out to be 1. And here's our next step. I have drawn uh, this uh, diameter EF uh, that passes through this center O. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 90 degrees uh, since uh, this is our radius and this is our tangent line. And now let's recall the perpendicular bisector theorem once again. If a radius of a circle is perpendicular to a chord, then the radius uh, bisects the chord. As you can see over here, this uh, A, B is our chord and O, F uh, is the radius and they are uh, perpendicular to each other at this point uh, P. So therefore, this segment uh, A, P is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, B, P. In other words, uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, segment length. And now let's make an observation. We can see that our uh, this uh, diameter is uh, this uh, EF and we know our radius uh, is 1. So therefore our diameter is going to be 2 times 1 is going to be 2 units. Now let's assume that this uh, segment uh, PF is uh, X units. Then uh, this uh, EP segment is going to be 2 minus this x. So I can write uh, 2 minus uh, x. And now we know that we are dealing with this uh, green uh, square. That means all its uh, side lengths uh, are uh, congruent. And now we can see if this segment EP is uh, 2 minus x, then uh, this segment uh, AD is going to be 2 minus uh, x uh, as well. 
and likewise uh, this whole uh, length uh, a b is going to be 2 minus uh, x uh, as well and now we know that uh, this uh, code a b has been divided into two equal uh, parts so therefore uh, this uh, segment uh, a p is going to be half of this 2 minus x so i can write uh, 2 minus uh, x divided by 2 and likewise uh, this segment uh, is going to be 2 minus uh, x uh, divided by 2 and finally let's recall the intersecting uh, chords theorem once again if two chords uh, intersect in a circle then the product of the majors of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram and here in this uh, circle two chords intersect each other such that uh, a times b equal to c times d as you can see in this uh, given uh, equation and now we can see in our case uh, we got these two chords uh, a b and e f uh, they intersect uh, each other at this point uh, p let me go ahead and call uh, our this segment uh, as lowercase a this segment lowercase b this segment lowercase c and this uh, lowercase uh, d so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so therefore uh, this uh, times uh, this let me go ahead and write down x uh, times uh, 2 minus uh, x uh, is going to be equal to this uh, times uh, this uh, let me go ahead and write down uh, 2 minus uh, x uh, divided by 2 times 2 minus uh, x uh, divided by 2 as well now let's go ahead and simplify x uh, times uh, 2 minus uh, x uh, equal to the right hand side uh, I can multiply out these denominators and I can write it uh, 1 divided by 4 times uh, 2 minus x uh, times uh, 2 minus x uh, as well and now let's go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by 4 to undo this uh, fraction so therefore our left hand side uh, becomes 4 times x uh, equals to 2 minus uh, x uh, equals to here 4 and 1 divided by 4 cancel each other out so we ended up with the 2 minus x uh, times uh, 2 minus uh, x let's go ahead and move uh, this uh, right hand side uh, to the left as you can see in this uh, next step i have moved uh, this part uh, to the left and now we can see 2 minus x and 2 minus x they are in common so therefore i'm going to factor out uh, 2 minus uh, x uh, out uh, side and in the bracket we ended up with uh, 4x uh, minus uh, 2 minus x equal to 0 and now let's focus uh, inside uh, this uh, bracket when we distribute this uh, negative sign so this is going to become 4x minus 2 and this become positive uh, x if we combine uh, these two like terms we got uh, 5x minus 2 so therefore i can replace this whole uh, part uh, by 5x minus 2 as you can see in this uh, next step i have replaced this whole thing by 5x minus 2 now let's go ahead and separate uh, these uh, two factors so this could be written as uh, 2 minus uh, x uh, equal to 0 and the second factor 5x uh, minus 2 equal to 0 as well so this uh, first equation is going to give us uh, x uh, equals to positive uh, 2 and now let's focus on this uh, second equation let's move this uh, negative 2 on the other side as you can see in this uh, next step let's go ahead and uh, divide both sides by 5 to isolate uh, x so therefore our x value turns out to be 2 divided by 5 and now let's make an observation we can see that x equal to 2 value is not possible since uh, this uh, whole uh, diameter ef uh, is 2 and this uh, tiny pf uh, is uh, x so therefore we are going to reject this x equal to 2 value and we are going to accept uh, x equal to 2 divided by 5 and now let's make an observation we know that this uh, segment uh, ep equal to this uh, side length uh, ad if this is 2 minus x this is 2 minus x uh, as well 
So therefore the side length of this square ABCD is this uh, 2 minus uh, X as you can see over here. And we know our X value is 2 divided by 5. We are going to substitute that value over here for X. So therefore this could be written as uh, 2 minus uh, 2 divided by 5. And if we simplify these uh, values we ended up with uh, 8 uh, divided by 5. So therefore the side length uh, of this uh, green square turns out to be 8 divided by 5 units. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, green square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equal to S square where S uh, represents the side length of the square. And in our case our side length uh, S is uh, 8 uh, divided by 5. So therefore the area of this uh, green square is going to be 8 uh, divided by 5 uh, whole uh, square. Let's uh, simplify. So that is going to give us uh, 64 uh, divided by 25. And if we put in a decimal that is going to be equal to 2.56 uh, square units. So thus the area of this uh, green uh, square ABCD turns out to be 2.56 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.